Senior Constable Nathan Ratcliffe is also at a burnout hotspot. And there's no sign of the culprits here either. But his attention is caught by a vehicle he's seen before. Is that your car for us? How you going? I'm from the Wyndham Highway Patrol, OK? The reason why I pulled you over today is I've observed no number plates on your vehicle. Do you have yeah. a permit for it? No, nah, but I'm just bringing it back from the road. I couldn't afford a permit and a Where? roadworthy. Can I have a look at your certificate? It's been backdated. It took a bit longer. So he just backdated it um, a week and a bit. Because we were supposed to take it back within seven days. When did been... you get this done? It hasn't back... been backdated anywhere. Yeah, no, he backdated it. So on It's the... not backdated, mate. No, on the pink slip. Where's the pink slip? No, it's got the roadworthy keep that one. You can ring him and ask him. So you haven't got a permit to get it anywhere? And yet, because this is about the fourth time I've, I've um, intercepted you guys, haven't I? And you still haven't got it sorted. I can't afford the road with you. Adam. Well, that's not my problem. Know, you should, if you can't afford it, don't drive. It's as simple as that. Oh if you, if God, you can't afford to register your vehicle and just run around on a certificate... No, 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 just, no, no, where's the date that says today? Uh, Tell me where the date is today. This is about the fourth time I've, I've um, intercepted you guys, haven't I? And you still haven't got it sorted. Senior Constable Nathan Ratcliffe is on a mission to clean up the streets of Hopper's Crossing one car at a time. What, what is the registration of this vehicle normally? You wouldn't have a clue, you couldn't get plates on it. Well, I'll tell you, I'm sick of it seen on the road because I see this car all the time with no plates. I register my car, so can you. He issues a ticket for $597 and then sends them on their way. But across the other side of the road, more madness comes Nathan's way. Nah, I was going to throw me folder at him, but I didn't want to lose me family notice book. As the day progresses, it keeps getting madder, and so does Nathan Ratcliffe. You didn't even see me. I was, I was sitting parallel to the to the traffic. Oh, what am I look for you and look at the traffic. What are you? I'm a policeman, mate. Listen, don't swear like that in front of your child, mate. All right? Definitely worth a check. Now he spotted another vehicle that looks worthy of closer inspection. Do you have a driver's license on you? Oh, no, I don't have the um, number. How come you don't have a license on you? Um, I've actually lost my wallet recently. I'm waiting for good days. You're not suspended or disqualified or anything? No, no. OK, you been drinking today? No. The driver's story about losing his wallet is usually a lie. So Nathan needs to check his details. Yeah. You got any drugs or anything no. today? No. OK, mate, just no, bear no, with mate. us. Suddenly... There we go. What Nathan's been waiting for all day. Hear the car doing the burnout? Definitely worth a check. Senior Constable Nathan Ratcliffe has pulled over this white car. Do you have a driver's license on you? Yeah, uh, no, I don't have the um, number. How come you don't have a license on you? Um, I've actually lost my wallet recently. I'm the driver claims to have lost his wallet and license, and Nathan was in the process of checking out his story when suddenly he hears a burnout. There we go. Will that hear the car doing the burnout? He leaves a colleague to deal with the driver and chases the burnout car. As I was talking to that young lad in the um, Commodore, this car's come out of the uh, street doing a large burnout, and uh, we'll hear what he has to say for himself. G'day, how are you going? Good, I'm from the Wyndham Highway Patrol. The reason why I've intercepted you today is I've just observed you doing a burnout out of the corner out there. What do you have to say for yourself? Stupidity. What's your reason for doing the burnout today? No reason. Stupidity is good. OK. Due to the... Uh, improper use of your vehicle, I'm going to be putting on a tow truck. Do you understand that? Yep. So I'm going to impound your vehicle today. Yep. OK? Yep. Have you had your vehicle impounded before? Uh, no, this is my brother's car. It's your brother's car? What's he going to say when uh, when he finds out that uh, his brother's just had his car seized? And guess what? Thursday, you're not going to get it back for about seven days. I don't reckon he's going to be too happy, do you? Yep. Oh, well, we'll see what he has to say. I'll do some checks and we'll go from there. All right. Unfortunately, the young blokes grow up today thinking that's, you know, that's 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 what they'll do in their time until they, you know, get old or, or you know, they grow out of that urge to spin the wheels at every corner. What's your brother going to say? Keep your eyes. 
he told me not to come home if I, if I do this. Yeah. He said he warned you about this. Yeah, he said if you get caught, don't come home. So what are you going to do? I'm not going home. Sign there, mate. Sign your brother's car away. Nathan no. Ratcliffe wants this life lesson to hit home. There it goes, mate, eh? Your brother's car. So you reckon you've learnt your lesson? Definitely. You do. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you have too, mate. All right. See you later.